first off, we're going to do a demo on the micro light here. Uh, we got your tongue jack here. Uh, just got on and off with the LED light there and then up and down controls for the jack itself. <coughs> and there's also a manual override in the top that you'll have a small crank handle to crank this manually just in case it ever malfunctioned on you. Um, your two 30 pound tanks are full here for you. They also have a tank selector on the regulator here. Um, there's a little point, a uh, little point to select the tank you want to use primarily. It's only going to select one tank at a time. And it is, it is auto switch over capable. If you open both tank valves, it's going to switch over automatically once the one you have selected runs empty. And then inside of the selector here, inside the lens, it's a red or green pressure based indicator. So if they're off or empty, it'll be red. And if we turn this tank on, it goes green. So you can quickly identify if the tank is off or empty. And then next up, we have your batteries here. Um, you got two batteries in here. And then uh, also have a battery disconnect switch underneath the tanks here that you're just gonna wanna make sure this is turned off. If it's not in use and not plugged in or not being used, wanna go ahead and just disconnect the battery to keep it from draining dead on you. It does charge off your vehicle while you tow and it charges off the cord. So if you're towing it, using it, or plugged in, wanna make sure we have our disconnect turned on. Also have LED lights there on the front. There is a little switch on and off on the left or the left side here on the front. Uh, the water heater here, you got six gallon uh, propane or electric water heater. Propane uh, is auto ignition, just control on your control panel inside. Um, as well as the electric element, um, there's a second switch here for the electric. There's an on and off switch here. And there's also one on the control panel. These both must be turned on um, for it to work on electric. You are able to run both electric and propane at the same time for the fastest recovery. got our water station here we have a city water connection this will be your direct hose hookup uh, you'll be running straight off the hose pressure if you are at a park or your home where you have water hookup available and we have antifreeze inlet there's going to be valves on the inside to turn suction to this to draw antifreeze using your pump and to winterize the uh, unit that way as well as a black tank flush um, that goes to your black holding tank there you want to that's something you want to utilize after you've dumped your tanks out and you have uh, the black tank handle open and empty and your hose still hooked up you're gonna hook up the hose to this guy that's gonna spin and rinse inside the tank help it from falsely reading on you over time and then we also have cable satellite connections here a couple coaxials underneath the covers if you have a full hookup with TV service available those are pretty nice to have and a little convenience light if you're out here monkeying around at night uh, help you see a little bit. Um, access to the water pump and filter are located through this panel on the exterior as well as your water heater bypass valves and your uh, winterizing selector valve. Up top we have a fresh tank fill so this will fill the trailers onboard tank uh, for fresh water if you did not have water service where you may be going. And then there's also a low point directly below this a uh, big white handle down here to drain that tank out. If you want to drain the water weight before you leave, you're just going to pull that handle, let that drain out of there. And then moving on back here, we have your uh, holding tank drains here. Um, so we have uh, colors, there are color coordinated handles. You have one black handle on the left that's straight from your toilet, your sewage. And then on the right, a uh, little bit down here, we have a gray tank. Uh, that's going to be wastewater from sinks and showers. You always want to drain your black first and then follow it up with your gray. That'll kind of help rinse all of that stuff out of your hose. as well as a little outside shower here. I don't have my keys on me right now. Just a basic shower head in there with hot and cold valves on it. Furnace vent. Just want to make sure nothing flammable or meltable in front of the furnace vent while it is running. It does uh, blow out pretty warm exhaust. We have a little hood range vent flap above the stove. There's a little couple tabs to hold that closed. So you want to make sure that's secured before you travel. And then the fridge vents on the back here, that will uh, just vent heat out of the back of the fridge. Not too much to do inside there. Um, a manual override through the hole here on the frame that's going to go to the slide on the other side that runs that slide in manually from this side. You'll have a crank handle located in the compartment for that as well. You we also have stabilizer jacks on all four corners. So those are just used to stabilize the unit after you've get it, gotten it leveled out so it's not rocking around when you're walking inside there. You do have a crank handle for those. That does take a three quarter inch socket if you have a drill. A lot of people like to use their drills, make it nice and easy for them. 
a little 30 amp plug here and uh this is 50 amp sorry my mistake on that so that'll be your cord hook up there that's where your power cord is going to hook into also have a hollow bumper here you can store your sewer hose right into the uh bumper there so it's kind of out of sight and out of mind as well as a full-size spare tire with a hard cover so it doesn't get beat up as much by the sun and then up top you are pre-wired for a backup camera that takes the furion camera if you ever want to add one later on that model is always on display in your vehicle while you are driving you do have a fully walkable roof with the rear ladder here um, so you want you can hop up there check out your ceiling about every six months or so uh, moving on around uh, we do have another manual override here this will go to the slide on the opposite side here to run that one in manually You've got a couple outside speakers that will be linked to your radio inside that will be connectable to bluetooth and all of that fun stuff a uh, little outside kitchen area here so you just got a little motion sensor light that's got a two-way switch on it. One way is going to turn it on all the time, and the other way just turns it to a motion sense, so it just kicks on when you walk by. Um, you got the little swing-out grill here. You're just going to hook your uh, hook your hose up in the side of the slide here. There's a, there's a connection right behind this corner of the slide. When it's out, you can plug your uh, quick disconnect hose right into there to um, power up your stove here with the propane. This is going to be a manual light with a lighter match. Uh, you're just going to turn your burner on and light it up there. You also have a 110 mini fridge here outside to store your beverages and all of that good stuff in. And then we have a taller storage outside here for taller stuff, fishing poles, stuff like that can get tucked in there. A lot of people like the tall storage there. It's always helpful to have, have that kind of stuff on here. And then the slide out does have its own awning on it, as well as the one next to it here. You do have the solid steps, they fold straight up into the door when you're not using it, and then uh, they come right on down nice and easy. They are assisted by a gas strut here, so that makes it almost weightless. Um, we've got a couple pins on the bottom here, you can extend or retract the legs to lengthen or shorten them depending on what kind of height you require. You do have a 50 amp to 30 amp adapter here that's included, uh, so you got a little bit more options there if you did not have a 50 amp hookup where you might be going. And we have a couple tracks here. One's going to accommodate your aluminum countertop for some prep space and the other one's going to have your griddle on it that slides right on the side. And you do have another quick disconnect down below here. It's kind of tucked up behind there. Um, same, same thing as the rear. You're going to just run your hose there to power up the griddle. And then there is an exterior TV mount. Uh, the TV inside will lift right up out of the mount and you can put it outside here. Then we have a antenna or cable output here for that and then some regular outlets as well and then in the compartment here um, we got your hitch here in the box a um, little pouch for with some accessories in the rear there uh, your aluminum countertops in the back as well 50 amp power cord and then your griddle will be in this box there's a little starter kit there you do have another motion sensor light up in the top there as well We'll go ahead and move on to the inside here. So we got your control panel here. You're going to have all your slide outs labeled here. You can two awning, extend, retract buttons. Um, you have your electric and gas water heater element switches on the top side there, as well as the water pump. You're only going to need your pump if you filled up that fresh tank and you're not hooked up with the hose. And then we also have tank heaters on this. That's going to be thermostatic heating pads on the tanks. Um, so if you're if you're wondering if it's going to get cold, if you think it's going to get a little chilly, you can just kick those on. It'll keep your tanks from icing up on you. Uh, most of your light switches are on the bottom. We got an interior light, porch light, an awning LED light there, as well as a little step light there. And then uh, this also has a Wi-Fi Ranger standard on here. So this switch is going to go to this little sticker here. You have a network and password. That's just going to amplify the Wi-Fi signal, pull in a stronger signal for you if you're at a campground. So we'll go ahead and run the slide outs here. Um, you're just going to really list for like a clicking kind of noise. Uh, that'll tell you they're all the way out. We also have your tank levels here, um, fresh tank black and gray, as well as your battery. And you're just going to push and hold to indicate, and it's going to indicate empty to full on the left side there.
There's a magnet on the, the slide there. All right, we got our slides out now. Um, down below the wall here, we have a propane gas leak and carbon monoxide detector. That unit's gonna be hardwired in there. And then just to the left here, we have your converter. This is gonna handle your uh, battery charging and onboard electrical stuff here. If you just push it in the center on the top, it'll pop open for you. And you got all your 110 breakers labeled on the bottom there. And the 12 volt fuses are on the right here, uh, label what they go to and what amperage they require in case you had to replace a fuse. There's also red LEDs next to each fuse. If you ever blow a fuse, it lights up red to the right of that fuse, so it makes it nice and easy to see if you have anything going on in there. As well as a little window on the front cover here, you'll be able to see the red lights through the window, so you can just give it a rough glance every now and then. Make sure you don't have any red lights on in there. And then we have a dual zone thermostat here. I do believe this unit's set up with one air conditioner at the moment, but um, you can always add a second one later on, and that's when this would come into play of being a dual zone. Um, so you're going to go to mode here, it's going to take you through the functions here, system, uh, you got cool, heat, gas, or back to off, so you can go to, uh, you can go to cool, and then kind of just click your mode, that'll change the speeds there, high, low, or auto, fan high, fan low, or back to off, and then you can select the temperature that you like to uh, set it at. And then moving on into the kitchen here, we do have a um, pull-out countertop here that pulls out. Nice, uh, nice long countertop extension there. Two sets of keys here. And then uh, just a standard microwave up top there. And then uh, we got the stove over here on the left side, propane stove. Um, so you're just going to fold your cover up here. Nice glass cover. It nice adds counter space when you're not using it. Um, you do have an electronic ignition on this guy here, so you're just going to uh, turn your burners on there and then hold it until it lights for you. Nice and easy like there. Same with the oven there, you're gonna, this oven one you actually have to push and hold that pilot while you uh, spark it, otherwise it will not ignite for you unless you're holding that until it is lit. So keep that one in mind, so that gets a lot of people. And then we got the refrigerator here. Um, this is a newer refrigerator that has an audible beep. There is a operating instructions on top inside the freezer. Um, but we have your basic on and off on the left side. And then the audible beep is gonna alert you if it, uh, you have auto and gas elements here. Um, those are the two modes you can choose from. Most people leave it on auto. It's always gonna go to your plug power first. And then if you unplug it or lose power, it's gonna automatically try to switch itself to propane to keep the fridge running. And then in the event that your propane was maybe off or, or empty, uh, the check light's going to illuminate if it cannot light on propane but tries. So that will uh, tell you as well as an audible beep, it will beep if it fails to light on propane so you will be alerted that your fridge will not be cooling anymore. And then if you want it to switch to gas only, you can depress the button out and that's going to try to only switch to propane without the auto mode uh, activated there. Inside the fridge here, we got some little accessories. There's some brackets for your toilet paper, roll holder, towel rack. There is an extra coaxial cable for the exterior TV. And then a little spatula there that Forest River includes, which is always pretty cool. Little stuff like that. Um, we got the theater seating here. Uh, these are 110, so you will need to be plugged in. Um, they are not active at the moment, but we do have heat, massage, and a light switch there lit cup holders the little recliners are uh, activated with the pull strings on the outside corners there and then they also come with these little countertops that you can um, um, put inside the uh, oops I think the propane might be turned off turn that guy back off um, but the countertops in the console they will slide right into these little silver guys in the front and that gives you a little uh, little counter to put stuff on a plate or drinks or anything like that. Uh, you also have uh, day and night shades. They're two different shades. Um, so one's a little darker and one you can see through a little bit more. Um, you're just going to pull these up or down. Um, so they're nice and easy. You don't have to uh, monkey with them too much. And then the windows have little cranks on them. Um, so these are just going to uh, crank clockwise to crank them open. Nice frameless windows there. And then the rear lights are push buttons, so most of your lights are going to have little push buttons in the center, so you can turn them on and off if you did not want all of the lights on. Um, in the entertainment center here, we have an electric fireplace. A lot of people say they can heat most of their uh, trailers with just the electric fireplaces, which are pretty nice. They do have controls here on the top. 
then you should have a remote for those as well um, which is pretty nice so you don't have to burn all your propane up trying to heat it up uh, we got the radio DVD player here that will already be linked to the TV and that will be uh, uh, speaker zones on the right here uh, that's going to activate your inside outside speaker zones the TV also does swivel out you have a little handle on the left side and then you're going to lift that guy up and the TV will open up and there's a pretty good amount of storage behind that um, so that's definitely nice to have above the uh, outside kitchen there just kind of locks back to secure it you got the dinette table here there is a leaflet that pulls out from the bottom and then you also do have storage underneath the little cushions in the chairs so you can always use all the storage you can get there's a little black button on the top light here to turn that guy on and off um, your air conditioner is all ducted through the ceiling you got the nice louver vents here these can be open and closed they can also be rotated and pointed around pretty nice ones there a little skylight there above the stove but in some natural light and then we do have an antenna rotator so this one's omnidirectional it just rotates it does not go up or down so there's nothing to forget about with that just for reception purposes there moving on into the bathroom here we do have a four speed vent fan there you got the little black lever here that's going to crank it up uh, the cover open there is a already standard installed uh, vent covers on the roof so there's louvers and screens on those so they won't let bugs or rain in and you can leave your vents open which is pretty nice and you got your fan speed you'll just push it to according to what speed you want and then we do have a nice porcelain toilet as well so you're not sitting on plastic uh, this this model actually comes out in a swirl all the way around it instead of just in the rear as the ones are standard so that cleans itself a lot nicer just a standard shower and sink there and we'll move on into the bedroom here uh, your doors here that slide they have these little latches on them so keep those guys closed um, we got a little wardrobe here a couple lights above the bed and then we do have a crank up vent fan this is where the second air uh, conditioner is prepped for so if you ever wanted to add one later on that's where the unit would be installed there so usbs and outlets by both of the beds we got the front window there which is definitely always nice we also have a little bit of storage underneath the mattress here that'll lift up there's a little um a little bit of storage underneath there they are strut assisted so it does hold itself up which is pretty nice and on the wall here we do have a prep for another tv backer so there's a backer board in here if you wanted to screw a tv mount in here um, we have a cable satellite connections here some outlets there and then we got the light switch here as well i think that's about it um, I don't think there's too much else in here. I do believe that would be all. I think that's about it.